Hello everyone. I hope everyone is doing good. Now tell me one thing. Who likes big calculation? Do you like? No, right? Now if I ask you to find the cube of 42, you will do this way, isn't it? You will multiply 42 by itself. Then whatever answer you will get, you will again multiply that answer by 42, isn't it? Now, you can see how much calculation is involved here, right? And you are reading the table so many times. So the chances of doing mistakes are more. Now, if you have a shortcut method, then why would anyone will prefer this method? So let's get started. Now we all know the cubes of first 10 natural numbers, right? Now if you don't remember, please memorize them as it will help you to increase your calculation speed. Now let's find the cube of 14. So here the answer is divided into four parts. So let's see what are those four parts. The first part you get is by finding the cube of the first digit. So cube of 1 is 1 and the last part will be the cube of 4 which is 64. Now to find the middle two parts, what you have to do is multiply these three digits. So 1 into 4 into 3 gives you 12. Okay. To get this part, you have to multiply 12 with 1, which is 12. And to get the next part, you have to multiply 12 with 4, which is 48. So these are your four parts. Okay. Now in the final answer, we write only the uh, unit place digit. Okay. So here, this is your uh, unit place. So you write 4 here. And the remaining number becomes the carry forward. So you have to add 6 here. So it will be how much? For, uh, 54. Right? Now again write 4 here. And 5 becomes the carry forward. So add 5 here. This becomes 17. So write 7 here. And this 1 gets added here. So you get 2. So 2744 is your answer. Let's do one more problem. Now let's find the cube of 42. So first we will find all the four parts of this answer. So 4 cube is 64, 2 cube is 8. Now to find the middle two parts, first you have to multiply these three digits. So 4 multiply, 2 multiply, 3 will give you 4 2s are 8, 8 3s are 24. Now to get this part, multiply 24 with 4. So you get 96. To get this part, multiply 24 with 2. So you will get 48. Okay. So these are four parts of my answer. Now we will write only the ones place digit. So copy 8 here as it is. Now copy this 8 here as it is. Now this 4 becomes the carry forward. So add 4 here, you get 100. Now copy this 0 here. And this 10 becomes the carry forward. So add 10 here. So you get 74. So 74,088 is your answer. So you can see that this trick is very simple and uh, you know as you are reading very less tables so the chances of doing mistakes will be very less and you will get the accurate answer. I hope you like this trick. So these are a few practice questions. So practice them and master this trick. So that's it for today. See you very soon with few more interesting tricks. Until then, goodbye, stay safe.